in a place as hot, as humid, naturally as Chennai, how would you take this excess heat? There are more than 50 ways of doing it. Needless to say, they provide excellent thermal comfort to the floors underneath. Barriers. Last week when I was in my hometown of Mumbai, I couldn't go without the umbrella for a single day outside. Totally drenched. The way the umbrella creates an effective barrier between you and the rain, why can't we create barriers, literally umbrellas, tickly and horizontally, to protect our buildings from the unwanted solar radiation? This is the balcony of my home, and it so effectively prevents incident solar radiation from 9 a.m. onwards from touching the main wall of my house. Combined with the right choice of brick, so obviously the U-value shows that I have chosen this brick instead of this. Combined with these two things, I brought down the entire air conditioning load of the entire villa to 35%. For every project that we do in our office, we do extensive studies with sun path diagrams and solar shading. And all of you are architects, needless to say, longer sides facing north and south. So this is a bungalow that I just finished in Baroda a few months ago. And with orientation, with a simple use of orientation, we significantly reduced air conditioning loads. This is Chennai. Out of the 8,780 hours in the year, you can see less than 7% of those hours which are represented, each dot over here represents one hour, are inside the thermal comfort zone. My job as an architect is to pick one dot after the other and keep putting it in this box. In most of our projects, we are able to achieve 75% of these dots inside this box through architectural design. And only for the last 25% of these dots do we rely on air conditioning, only when necessary.